Hello everyone, how is it going? So today I'm bringing you guys the Hyper Liquid uh, Dex that is on Arbitrum and their potential airdrop that they are having in the future based off of their points program. So they do have a points program, right? I'll show you guys right now how that works. So if you press the start trading tab, obviously you go to points right here. As you can see, I did collect a total of 98 points and I'm in the gold league. I have no idea what that even means, I'll be honest. And as you can see here, that the points are distributed every Thursday, and there are a million points each week, and that's that's a fixed amount of points, right? And that's gonna be important later. Um, and as you can see, like I said earlier, I have 98 points, and I've generated $300,000 worth of volume for those 98 points, okay? And the reason I said that the million points a week is a bit interest or is a is a bit important is because the 24 hour trading volume for Hyperliquid has been going up steadily along the weeks. So when I started farming this maybe like a week and a half ago, the average volume I saw for Hyperliquid was around 800 million dollars per 24 hours, right? And as you just saw in the beginning of this video, it is 1.1 billion. So all that really means is that we're just gonna have to generate more volume to get the same amount of points as we did before. But I do have a method for that, so that is gonna be okay. And if you look over here on Wales Market, these points, the lowest offer for these points right now is $3.17 per point, right? So just right there, off of my 300,000 dollars worth of volume generated these points would be worth roughly around three hundred dollars right and as you could see here too if you go to the sold listings on these points you could see that they were lower previously right or sorry 100 percent fill hyper liquid right here as you could see these points are selling for these prices right uh, obviously it does range a bit but currently none are on the market for less than 317 a point so in my opinion, not financial advice, obviously, this is going to be maybe a lucrative airdrop to farm. And personally, I'm farming it based on the barrier to entry. And the reason I say that is because you will get hit with fees on here. Trading is inherently harder and people are just going to lose money on it. So, but let me guys let, or let me give y'all a method on how to actually generate volume while being a le less risk averse to the actual price action just so we could generate volume here, right? So they do, so you're gonna need USDC on Arbitrum to trade on Hyperliquid. So that's super easy. You're just gonna connect your wallet. It'll literally just be a button here. You'll press deposit, USDC, or they take USDT and bridge usdc also so you're just going to deposit however much right as you can see i have fi only 50 dollars in here right i believe i used to have like 170 or something or like something but that just all went down to fees as i have been farming this a bit lately so once you have your money in here um you're either going to want to buy or buy or sell since the funding rates are negative i'm currently going to be shorting a lot because you actually get money if you short like you'll see in the funding if you have a position open long enough but that doesn't really inherently matter so what you'll want to do is we're going to want to do a limit order right but before that sorry you're going to want to set yourself to 50x leverage now that might seem kind of outrageous but just hear me out okay the reason we do this is so we could generate as much volume with as little capital as possible and risk the lowest amount of money possible right so right here i'm going to want to go in for a short position right current price as you can see here i'm just going to put my stop loss since we're shorting literally only one above and i'm going to go 100 percent my size and i'm just going to go in or right there Boom. Oh, wait. That's not going to work. Price is shooting up. Okay, hold up. I'm going to switch over to a long, and I'm going to put my stop loss just uh, just below it. Right here. Cool. Place order. Boom. So as you can see right here, my order has now been placed. 
I have a long position with a stop loss literally right under it. So if price goes below, it's automatically going to close my order. And it says that my position value is roughly almost $2,500. So that's $2,500 of volume that you've just generated with $50, right? My margin right here, roughly $50. And then as you can see, we are shooting up in price here, which is good. So I am getting some PL, but I'm just going to close and I'm going to close at middle price or the middle of the market price, right? And the reason I do that is because you generally get less fees when you sell or buy at limit uh, because for market you're just going to take the the quickest route right in the order book right and that that slippage could be whatever right and you could lose money on fees and as you could see right here i on that trade i lost virtually no money because i did end up getting some pnl but on most trades you will end up losing a couple dollars this way or like a couple cents or whatnot just because of fees and and whatnot just naturally and the whole the whole point of this is we want to keep our risk low we we don't want to lose much capital obviously but you're gonna get hit with fees no matter what unless you get winning trades so and then this kind of brings me to my to my next point uh where uh if you have either a short or a long position right where you have your stop loss right below your long, right? Like you have your entry price here, your stop loss is right here. If your price starts going up, feel free to keep that position as a runner and bring your stop loss above your entry price, right? So that basically means you'll just be guaranteed profit because if price goes down, your stop loss is above your entry price. So you're basically guaranteed profit anyway, right? And I've been doing this a lot. So as you saw earlier, how I made that one position, say if price continued to run up, right? Say if price started going up like this, all I would do is I would drag that stop loss line. So my stop loss was originally here, right? If price started to go up here, I would just drag my stop loss up. And I would just keep dragging it up if price keeps going up because then I'm guaranteed profit and I get extra money on that trade technically to make more trades, to make more volume because the main thing we're trying to do here is generate volume because that's how you get these points. They do have vaults though. I am not 100% sure how many points these do generate you, how much money you need to generate like a worthwhile amount of points. Personally, what has been working for me is the volume because I mean, these places like need volume to live. I mean, that's how they generate money. So I believe they're going to incentivize the volume a little bit more than the vaults. I could be wrong, though. Don't quote me on this. But personally, what I'm doing is I'm taking the volume route. I have roughly around a million dollars in volume across my wallets. There also are referrals for this. I'll drop mine in the description because you do get a 4% discount off fees. So even if you don't want to use my referral, doesn't matter. Use someone's referral at least, right? Because you're, you're going to be saving 4%. And try to refer like your friends or even your other wallets, right? You could refer your other wallets because you get a 10% of whatever fees your referee uh, use. So if like the person you referred spent $100 on fees, you get $10 of that. And that just go... and that just allows you to generate more volume on your own account, right? So at the end of the day, the referrals are, are good, but we wanna, be, we wanna be generating volume, and that's pretty much really, really it for Hyperliquid, I mean. Uh, if you, any of y'all have any questions, please drop it in the comments below. I do respond to every single comment that goes on there. So yeah, I mean, have fun trading don't lose money this is not financial advice obviously and uh just stay just stay mindful of how much you're risking right and uh yeah have a good one guys peace